Um, let's talk about this uh, this fight, dude. Piotr Jan, Marab Dwashwili, as I said, it's going to have a massive impact on the Bantamweight division. These guys could be one win away from fighting for a title. Oh, absolutely. And look, listen, Bantamweight, we're talking about this division all the time now because there's a lot of stars. Let's not forget, in a couple of weeks, we've got uh, Chido Vera taking on Corey Sandegan. We've got Henry Cejudo, Aljamain Sterling, Piotr Jan, Marab Davalashvili, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bantamweight division right now is on fire, and this fight's going to be sensational. Marab Davalashvili coming into this on an eight-fight win streak. We know the way he gets it done. He grinds them out. He's got tremendous wrestling and a no, never say die attitude and his opponent Piotr Jan former champion great boxing tremendous footwork could dance all over the octagon and he's a mean little son of a gun with knockout power it's a great main event well we're gonna have five bantamweight fights on this card speaking of the card six fights on the main card on ESPN plus Brazil's Vitor Petrino making his debut against fellow contender series alum Anton, the pleasure man, Turkali, Saeed Nurmagomedov looking to make a five in a row against Jonathan Martinez. Two weeks after they were scheduled to be the main event, top ten lightweights Nikita Krilov and Ryan Spann square off in a catchweight bout. The co-main, top 15 heavyweight tilt between the Alexanders and, of course, the main event, a title eliminator with Piotr Jan and Rob Dwalishwili. Dwalishwili riding a eight fight win streak, most recently beating Jose Aldo last summer, Mike. And that is his signature win. I mean, Jose Aldo, legends don't come much bigger than that. Took him out there, did it in his signature style, doing techniques like this, picking people up, putting them down and making them pay. And the one thing that stands out as well is the cardio, the pace. I mean, the fight performances. That one there against Marlon Marais. I mean, he almost got murdered in the first round. Came back in the second. Tremendous come from behind victory. That is why you've always got to watch the machine do his work. And Piotr Jan coming off back-to-back -back split decision losses to Al Joe and Sugar Sean O'Malley. And that's what makes him dangerous. He feels he was robbed on the scorecards versus Sean O'Malley. You know, he wants another crack at Al Jermaine Sterling. But prior to all of that, this man, I said it before, beautiful boxing, tremendous footwork, nice foot trips, good wrestling. And that's going to be the key in this fight. Can Piotr for Jan keep the fight on the feet? If he can, it's going to be a problem because with the hands, he's one of the best in the bantamweight division. And as I said, coming off those losses, he's coming into this one very, very motivated. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.